I'm going to show you how to create an application to identify faces. So here you have Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. It's going to identify Bill Gates. And then you have Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. So how to create an application which can identify the faces and then tag the names appropriately. Now there are a lot of use cases around this kind of an application wherein you can create it for employee sign in or you can create it for restricting access from a security standpoint. So you have to pre-register employees and users so that you can identify their faces and do a next level of security. And let me show you how we created it. I'm going to walk you through the code as well in this video. So in order to identify the faces, what we're going to do is we're going to do register and capture face. So first of all, you have to register the face saying that, hey, this is the face which we are going to identify and then train the model so that it understands whose face it belongs to. Next, we are going to do second, which is recognize the face. So once the face is registered and captured and the model is trained, then you recognize the face. Please note that this piece is done using register.face.py. So I'm going to show you three Python files, registerface.py, trainface.py, and then recognizeface.py. So register, train, and recognize. Please note that the first piece is only going to be one time work. So you register it once. So imagine you are registering an employee onto a system where you are registering the face the employee ID only once. From then, for the next time onwards, the app is ready. You can use the recognize the face option. And if you want to register a user, yes, the step one, one time only registration, and then the recognition. So let me show you step by step how to create an application like this. So this is the register face.py application, the, the Python code. So from train face, import train face. So note that there is a small train application which I have written and all of these applications are available on the Google Drive link. Please note that the idea was borrowed from uh, code credits is codacus.com. Now register face. So next is vidcap equals cv2 dot video capture. So you capture the video. So import CV2 time, you have to use this train face. You can download the train face dot API from the Google Drive link, which is registered, which is in the video description section of the below of the video below. And then with cap equals CV2 dot video capture. So please look at my previous set of videos to understand the video capture. Next is I'm going to use detector equals CV2 dot cascade classifier. You have hard cascade frontal face underscore default. Remember in the previous video, we used hard cascade frontal face. This is an XML file. You can download it again from the Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the video description section. Next, you are going to say this is a capture face and train program. And just to, you know, sound cool. And then enter your ID. This ID is important because you would be entering the ID and identifying an employee. Next, sample counter. So I need for this program at least 10 to 12 images of the face. So that's why I need that counter. Now, while true, I'm going to initiate a loop. So I'm going to read the video cap. The captured video which is with cap over here next gray i'm going to convert that image into a gray scale again how is it converted is in my previous set of videos and please note that 
I used the previous set of videos to drive this application. So open CV, CV video series from 1 to 10 is going to help you understand these codes. Next, again, faces equal to detector dot detect multiscale gray. And this is the same function which I used in the video set number 9, video number 9 to detect a face. Next, again, after the face is detected, you would get four integers, x, y, width and height. So for the face, you would get x coordinate, y coordinate, the width and the height of the face in the picture. So as you are capturing in the video, it is going to identify the face. Then cv2.rectangle, I'm going to create a rectangle on the face, time.sleep and I'm going to use the sample counter which is going to be only for 10 images or 11 images. Now time.sleep is you're going to sleep, I mean you're going to wait for 0.5 millisecond or seconds and then you can save it. Please note that the images are saved in a data set folder. So wherever you are writing this or saving this code register face, you need to have a folder known as data set. The folder structure is available on the Google Drive link as well if you want to take a look. And then finally, I'm going to show the image. So all I'm doing is initiating a video then using the hard cascade, asking the user for an ID, and then I'm going to create a grayscale image, use the face detector using detect multiscale. I'm going to get X, Y, W width and height coordinates, and then I'm going to increment the counter from 0 to 11 or 10 to get 11 images, and then I'm going to write these images in the dataset folder and then you would I would show the images. Next, I'm going to validate if it's collecting 10 samples, samples only. If you press Q like on the keyboard, it's going to quit or it is going to collect 11, that means 10 samples of the image. And then I'm going to release the video capture and destroy all windows. Now, this is going to sleep. So all in this section I'm doing is capturing the video and saving those images in dataset user. I'm asking this program to wait for a minute or second and then train the model. So I'm going to use train face. And that is where you would need to have train face dot the python file in the same folder as you have the register face.python. So basically what you're going to do is for this application, you're going to download register face, train face and recognize face, all the files, three files together and then kickstart the register face. Now let me quickly run this and show you. You're going to enter the ID here. Let's put any number, let's say two. And it captured 10 images and it also created the training model and you can see completed the train dot train train face dot py. So now the model is trained and the picture which I just showed you had an ID 2. Please don't worry about this. I already have trained the picture or the face for 12 and 15. So let me just do a recognize face real quick. Let me walk you through this recognize face code. So you have recognizer equals cv2.face lbph face recognizer underscore create. Now there is a function in the cv2 
library so cv2 dot face dot lbph face recognizer underscore create so this is going to recognize the face next i am going to use the yml so please note that the train face is going to create a yml file which is not readable in a notepad or textpad or whatever it is and then there is a folder known as trainer so in the trainer folder you have trainer.yml and it's going to save the trained images in the yml folder in the directory structure please note that you can look at the directory structure in the google drive link which is mentioned in the video description section of the video below next i am going to use cascade path so cascade path is going to be hard cascade and then I'm going to use face cascade. It's a very similar thing. I can rewrite this entire thing. So face cascade, very similar to what we have done in the register face. Next is I'm going to capture the video. So similar to what we did earlier, font. This font is initialized for the name which will come in on the left, bottom left side of the rectangle. And then I'm going to initiate a loop. So I'm going to read the image from the video capture. And then I'm going to convert this image in the grayscale. Again, just a repetition here. Please refer to the previous set of OpenCV do it yourself videos in order to understand these small little things which I have covered in those videos. Next, I'm going to use the face cascade detector multi detect multi scale which has been used in the previous set of videos as well now the output of the faces is x y width and height coordinates and based on that i'm going to create a rectangle to cover the face so in the video whatever the face is being captured i'm just covering that now i'm going to compare those images with what I have in the YML file. So recognizer.predict the grayscale of Y and X. Please note that using the recognizer, which is this one, I am trying to compare the image which is being captured in this program versus the registered YML images already so the images which have been registered already are now being captured and compared if i have a match then i know that this is the person next i'm going to say if id is 12 so in the initial phases when i compared or when i trained for steve jobs i had used id 12 and therefore, I'm just going to hard code it. You can create a table or in a database and then get the IDs as well. Doesn't matter. But for now, I'm using ID equal to 12 is Steve Jobs. If ID is 15, then it's Bill Gates, else unknown. So Steve Jobs or Bill Gates. And other than that, I don't know the person, obviously, because we just have two people here where we are doing the facial recognition. I repeat quickly on this program. So import cv2 numpy next recognizer you have cv2.face.lbph face recognizer create recognizer.read the yml file from the trainer folder next you will have the hard cascade frontal face which we have been using in the last few videos initialize the camera initialize the fonts got the image converted into grayscale Next, we are going to detect what is being currently recorded in the image or the video. And then we are going to create a, a predictor and compare the image which is captured in the video now versus what we have in the YML. Next, we are going to do a very hard coding thing just to make sure that we get the names. So if ID is equal to 12, show Steve Jobs. If ID is equal to 15, show Bill Gates, else unknown. And then finally, you want to put text. 
So using put text, I'm going to put the IM, which is the image. We are going to use on the image, put the ID, which is Steve Jobs and Bill Gates now, and all the fonts. Next, show the image. And then if you hit the Q, quit, it's going to quit, cam.release, and destroy. So let's run this and see what happens. So Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, and a combination of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates. So it's going to identify two faces together. So Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. So please feel free to download these files and use it, enhance the application. In the next set of videos, we are going to see how we can use Microsoft Azure Cognitive API to do the facial recognition and we don't have to write so much of a code and do all the trainings ourselves. It will be all based on APIs. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.